joined up thinking. Joined and this up. is what we've lacked with certainly the last Labour administration. No joined up thinking. You, you've got, even, even Cameron's government haven't worked out that if you're going to put barriers to those outside the EU, you've still got millions who can come in from the EU. Yeah. It's not going to serve the, solve the problem. OK, and, and a couple of emails are on this. Daniel says, the country's full, we have too much to deal with, only those who can help our society today should get in. And James says, when you do move to a country, I'm the feeling that you should contribute to the system for at least yeah. three years and also sign up to citizenship rules and <coughs> regulations. Philippe, you were talking about those people that we need. So are you not arguing then that there should be a filter, that it's not an open door policy, that you, we just have those people in who we need economically. Well, the, the interesting thing, though, is we actually now do have an open door policy within the European Union. Mm. And if you'd said that to people 20 years ago, they would have said it would be the end of British life as we know it, Britain would be swamped, it would be Armageddon. And the fact is, it's not true. Society hasn't collapsed. What? You see, okay, unemployment sorry, actually continued to fall until the financial crisis, even with the influx of Polish people. I'm, you uh, saw George, the economy I know you booming. Want to, I know you it want to jump in, but true. we have... It simply isn't true. It simply isn't true that we have, have this people, terrible effect. We have people who are, are trying, to, trying to talk to us this morning <laughs> via webcam. <laughs> uh, you've been telling us what you think, and we're going to hear now from some of those people who've connected to us uh, live. And a very good morning to uh, Baldeep Kaur from Essex. Baldeep, what do you think? Good morning. Um, I've kind of been offended to an extent by some of the things that you know, your studio audience has been saying, in part because you know, they're going back to a lot of the stereotypes. Oh, yeah, people who um, are migrants to this country are on the dole. People who um, are coming to this country are showing they're showing that they're skilled labourers. Sorry? No, that's not what no we said. said that. Nobody said that with respect. What I'm saying is that the reason why you don't get English uh, uh, picking strawberries, as Philippe has said, is, and therefore you have to have migrants doing it, is because of the welfare system. I've not said anything about migrants no. being on the dole. And I don't even blame the no, migrants. No, I blame the politicians. Let's all come back. It's a stereotype in itself because you're, you know, you're focusing on one factor. And at the moment, you are speaking to the nation. You know, this is going out live to everyone. And because you're only focusing on certain factors, you're reinforcing stereotypes that What's exist in the kids, saying, OK, we need the mic... I'm still talking. <laughs> we need the migrant um, community to come here and do jobs that the British people don't want to do. Well, that's that's not necessarily the case. There's a lot of factors, you know, that's influencing this. Now, I was a teacher who worked in East London before moving abroad. And speaking about, you know, the children and migrant families coming into this country, um, a lot of them came in with very little English, very little, um, you know, background where the parents supported education. But the transformation that was made in their life mm. and what they contributed to the school life was amazing. Well, that, All right, Baldi. Um, well controlled managed immigration has been fantastic for this country. Baldi, no, thanks I've very much indeed. At I all. want to talk to Byron, who is in Kent. Uh, Byron, what's your point? Hello. Um, I just want to say it's immoral to stop anyone. For years and years, our country has been fighting and other countries have been fighting for right to own land. I thought that since then we'd all moved on and we could share our land. It doesn't matter what colour, where you come from, what you believe. You can go to London and you can go to different types of people. We build our economy up, save people, police force, people fighting for you that come from all different countries, mm -hmm. yet you're willing to say, uh, if, if I have to help them, I don't want him here. Okay. Okay. George, but George, you are <laughs> nodding. You, you no, say, I'm yes, you agree. I'm agreeing with much yeah. of what and the gentleman has said until he got to the end. Well, it's and part of the nature of our oh, country. The, it's of multicultural. Course, of course. <laughs> and, and, and then we, we, come and, we, we come and say, let anybody come, like my dad, who's gonna, going to put something into the nation. What I, what, what I have a problem with is that we haven't had joined up thinking. We have, we, even today, the figures of jobs that have not been filled for uh, the whole year, been thousands of mm -hmm, jobs out mm -hmm. there that people on, on, the, on welfare have said, well, I, I'm not going to do that. It's just okay, not yeah, worth my while. And, uh, and the people... The reality the, is that immigrants don't take jobs. We had this debate, no, actually, no, when... We're not, when we're not, we had this debate... Make, no, excuse let's me. Let's we had this point. debate Philippe, when women... George, that. please, we're not let saying. Philippe make No, excuse point. me. We had this debate when women started work, working, and many men said, if women work, there'll be no jobs left for mm. us men. And you see now, most women work, and so do most men. Likewise, sure. immigrants who come here, yes, they, they fill jobs, but they also create jobs. They create jobs when they spend their wages, and they create jobs in complementary lines of work. And we must leave it. No.
I know you're desperate to continue, but you can continue the debate on our website.